Good morning, y'all. So today I have to clean another office and um, it's only gonna take me about an hour to clean it. And then I have to run some errands. I've gotta go to the store and pick up my prescription and maybe a couple of groceries. And then when I get home, I'm not exactly sure what I'm what I what I want to do today. I don't have anything planned. I already cleaned my apartment, but I was thinking maybe I might spend a couple hours doing some uh, surveys. And um, I got onto this site called User Testing, where you basically, I think you review websites and products and stuff like that. I'm not exactly 100% sure what it is that I'll be doing, but I know it has something to do with reviewing stuff. Um, and you get a paid, they pay you $10 and up. Actually, I did see some $4 ones pop in there, so I think the bare minimum is $4, but I'll see if I can get any like stuff done on user testing. That'd be great. And then I have to log in to school so I can see what's going on next week because the semester starts on Monday. So... gotta figure out what textbooks I need I don't think I'm actually honestly don't think I need to get textbooks this semester because one of the classes I'm re well two of the classes I'm retaking and one of the classes they don't even use the book at all <laughs> so I don't need the book um, and this is actually gonna be my third time taking the class as well just so you know the first time I passed the class well passed the class the first time I got a C minus in the class and you have to have a C or was or did I get a C and you need a C plus anyways whole point is I was like a half a point away from what I needed to move on to the next level to upper level psychology classes so this is my third time taking the class and then I have another class that I ended up dropping last semester because it required me to be online at a specific time and I was working for Wayfair at the time and it's really hard to work for a call center and do your classwork when you're not working from home. I was in the office, so I wasn't able to really log into my class. So I ended up dropping that class, and I'm taking it again this semester since I don't have any classes. What? Classes? I'm sorry. I'm taking it this semester since I don't have a, a full-time job. I'm only working at night, so we're retaking that class. And I already have the books for it. And then I have a third class that I just randomly picked some random class. I, I picked it for the sake of financial aid. Don't need it, but I'm taking the class anyways. So, anywho, what else did I want to tell you guys? Oh, I'm looking for a car. And I saw a car that I wanted, but it's gone now. So, they, they, they kind of go fast, I see. Uh, it's it's going to end up being a used vehicle, which is fine. That's not a big deal. Um, but I am going to be trying to get a car in the next few weeks. Um, I'm supposed to be getting my student refund soon, so hopefully it'll be enough to get me a vehicle. So yeah. Anyways, I am going to get some breakfast because I already missed the bus and I have to wait for the next one. So I figure fucking I have a whole hour of my which is put some food in my mouth. So there's a lot of cleaning to do in this one. And this side is significantly bigger than the than the size that I do typically do also there are three doors to get into this building to get into this side and I went through the wrong door and so I had to freaking run so that I could turn off the alarm <laughs> and the alarm was about to go dee -dee -dee -dee. I was like oh shit so I ran kind of hard to run when you have to drop a deuce. Where are the light switches? Okay. But yeah, so this one doesn't have that much to do because they don't really use this side. Um, so really I just have to dust and get rid of the cobwebs and stuff and the bugs and then they say to make sure the bathrooms are stocked. But yeah it should only take me about an hour to do and then i can go run my errands so i definitely have to run errands today i have decided that this year i will 
not be lazy every weekend. Like, some weekends I probably will be lazy as shit and do nothing. But there are going to be some weekends where I'm going to be productive, get my cleaning done, get homework done. Ooh, sorry, y'all. I know this camera's probably making you want to puke. Okay. All right, there we go. Took off my jacket. So, anyways, I am going to start cleaning now. Well, actually, I need to use the restroom. Now, I'm going to go to the store. So, I gotta go to Publix so I can pick up my prescriptions and get a few, gro a few? A few groceries. Just gotta pick up a few things. And then, I guess I'll have to figure out what else I'm gonna do with my day. Since I'm not gonna allow myself to take a nap today. <laughs> so, uh... This is going to be interesting. Today, after I go to work, I'm actually going to, I'm going to go, I'm going to do some camming tonight. Um, so I've been struggling a little bit. Last night I was a little bit proud of myself because I went to sleep somewhere after one. But that was like 1.30, I think it was really the last time that I saw before I drifted off into sleep land. But I have been going to sleep around four o'clock in the morning. And I, there were a couple days last week where the sun started rising and I was like, ah, oh, man, I'm still awake. No, <laughs> that, I, I'm not sure what's going on with my sleep patterns. I feel like part of the problem is the fact that I take naps during the day. So I'm trying to not take a nap anymore. Um, and literally I just finished eating my breakfast and my first thought was, okay, time to take a nap. I'm not doing it. I have studying to do, so we're going to be studying, and then tonight when I get home from doing my cleaning job, I'm going to get on camera and try to make a little bit of money tonight on camera, so, y'all, I'm just going to let you know right now, it's really hard going through my day without taking a nap, it's really hard, but I have to stop taking naps during the day, because it has seriously messed up my sleeping patterns, so... <sighs> Why is it blinking? I don't understand. This camera is weird. This camera is weird. I have to dig around in the settings to see if I can fix that. Y'all, it fucking smells like someone urinated on a rotting fish on that fucking bus. When I tell you it is so stank, I could not fucking breathe. So I put my mask on and I put lip gloss. 
on my lips <laughs> so that I could only smell my lip gloss. Oh my god, it's nasty in there. And and the bus was about 30 minutes or so late. So I'm just now getting here. It's 5.45. I usually start at 5.30 on the dot. So now I gotta go get the key and then I probably won't be done until like 10.30 tonight, which sucks. Because I like to be done like way before that, but <sighs> today is starting off a little rough. Oh great, someone parked right in front of the freaking key. <sighs> I mean like super close to it. Am I even gonna be able to get the key? So today is actually several days later. I think actually a whole week later. Um, so I'm cleaning and I was sort of just taking a break. I'm inside of a shower. I just filled my water bucket up so I can start mopping the bathrooms. And uh, I have some news. <laughs> on the 28th, on the 28th of this month, I'm going to be getting a car freaking finally honestly i didn't think that i was gonna get approved because my credit history is bad and i also have a repossession on my credit history so i was like dang i'm gonna have to actually save up thousands of dollars to buy a car off of someone but it turns out that there are companies that are willing to work with you and the company that i chose <laughs> is drive time I was like, oh snap, okay. So they approved me. And I'm getting a car and the payments are low. <laughs> the payments are low. Oh my gosh. Now I haven't signed anything yet or anything. The car is just reserved. So I haven't signed any papers or whatnot. They just have my ID and my bank statements and all that. But I haven't like, you know, I'm not at that point yet. But the monthly payments are low and I'm happy. So the kind of car I'm getting I'm going back to my roots, y'all. The 2014 Corolla. <laughs> for those of you who know, you know. If you've been watching me for a long time, you know, once upon a time ago, I had a 2014 Corolla, and I lived in it. And looks like I'm getting one again. <laughs> so, um, but I did say if, uh, I did tell them if they, if a RAV4 comes up in there, you know what I'm saying, I wouldn't mind getting back into a RAV4 as long as the payments can stay below 500, because I cannot do anything more than that. But I can't believe it. Like on the 28th, I'm going to be getting my life back together. And I'm excited because getting a car means I can do more cleaning locations. Cleaning more cleaning locations means more hours, meaning more paycheck. <laughs> I'm looking forward to that. I can't wait to get it so I can be like, hey, supervisor, I have a car now. I can clean more locations and increase my hours. Also, I was so burnt out last year from doing deliveries and stuff. Like, I'm at a point now where I'm anxious to just get back on the road and get back to doing deliveries and grocery deliveries and stuff like that. Like, oh my God. I'm really happy. I'm so happy. Like, I'm so freaking happy and I can't wait. Anyways, I've been sitting here for like too long, so let me hurry up and mop so I don't miss my bus. This cat will not let me go home. As soon as I start walking. And he's already bit me like twice. He, he, he bit me twice on my right leg. <laughs> he just will not. He just will not. Ow! Did it again! <laughs> You're not letting me go? I gotta go inside. I'm hungry and my booty itches. I gotta take a shower.
Okay. Ow! You did it again! You keep biting me. Oh. Don't bite me. Let me go home. I don't know what to do because he just keep he, every time I try to walk he bites the shit out of me or she I don't know <sighs> my leg hurts oh my god okay I think I got an opportunity nope <sighs> he was distracted by the gate for like a split second and then now he's chasing me again okay nope he's still, he's still chasing the crap out of me Listen, I gotta go. You're so cute, but I gotta go. And you bit me. I definitely can't take you home. Oh my god. Will you please let me go? Will you please let me go? Will you please let me go? Oh. Let me just get out of here. Let me go real quick. <laughs> that guy. Okay, well, he's hidden, but I'm going to try to get inside. Right. I'm trying to get inside before he. <laughs> Ow! My leg hurts now. Motherfucker bit me. I don't know if they were love bites or what. <laughs> I don't know. That, I mean, was so cute, but... Ow! You know? Like... Ow! <laughs> My leg hurts. And he kept biting the same spot. Or she. I don't know. Or orange cats male, predominantly male or predominantly female. I guess I could just Google that. But anyway, um, I'm finally home. And there's not really much else I want to say in this vlog. So I think I'm just going to go ahead and end this vlog. I'm going to take myself a shower and I'm going to make myself some ramen. And then I'm going to bed because I'm really tired. I woke up at 7 o'clock today and I did so much homework. I just want to go to sleep. So... Thank you guys for watching, and don't forget, do the things that make you happy in life and drink some water. Bye!